Hey, how you doing guys? Today we're going to be creating these call out titles. Like these ones. I do have this image that I got from internet. So what we're going to be doing uh, today is just uh, call out titles. And we're going to be going back and forth with the composite shot and the editors. So I'm going to create a new composite shot. And I'm going to rename it. Now I'm going to create a plane. And we're going to create a circle. Something like that. Now I do have this mask. What we're going to do is we're going to duplicate it. And here we're going to change the blending mode to subtract. <coughs> Now I'm going to open the first mask and um, we're going to add a keyframe and then I'm going to move like uh, like four frames and I'm going to uh, increase the size with something like this. I'm going to select these two and then I'm going to make them smooth like that. We're going to create another circle. Something like this. I'm going to rename it. So I don't get confused. So what I'm going to do is going to come back to the beginning and I'm going to bring it down until it disappear. I'm going to add a keyframe and I'm going to move forward. I'm going to increase the size, something like that. I'm going to select these two keyframes, make them smooth, and we have this. Okay, so now what we're going to do, we're going to duplicate this one, rename it. I'm going to get rid of the circle. I'm gonna open the mask, both of them, and then the shape and the second mask. I'm gonna add a keyframe too. I'm going to increase the size for this one, something like this, and I'm gonna increase the size for this one too. Now I'm gonna get rid of the last keyframe. I'm gonna move forward, and then I'm going to increase the size until this appear. Pretty much, we have this. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to select all of the keyframes. I'm going to make them smooth. Probably I'm going to move this to a little closer. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a new composite shot, rename it. I'm going to add a plane. And I'm going to create something like this. Okay, now again, I'm going to create another composite shot. Rename it. I'm going to create another plane. What I'm going to do, I'm going to make that one smaller, something like this. And I'm going to open to transform. And I'm going to move the anchor point right in the edge. So now I move it something like this. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to click right there. And then I'm going to go zero on the scale. I'm going to add a keyframe in the beginning. I'm going to move forward like four frames. And I'm going to increase the size, something like this. I'm going to select these two keyframes and I'm going to make them smooth as well. Play it back and we have this. Now we're pretty much done. Now what we're going to do, we're going to go to the editor. And here I have the picture that I was telling you that I got from internet. And what we're going to do, we're going to bring all the composite shots 
inside the editor. So I'm gonna move all my compositions to this folder because I wanna keep things organized. So now what I'm gonna do I'm going to bring the circle inside as you can see I have it right here. I'm going to make it a smaller okay now what I'm going to do I'm going to bring this one too I'm going to make it the same size and I'm going to move it and make it a smaller too Okay, this one I'm going to move forward a little. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to effect. And here is the advantage that we have when we're using the editor. That we could use video transitions. Okay, let's open this one and then we have a linear wipe. So what we're going to do, we're going to drag it right on this one, right on top of this one. And I'm gonna move the angle, something like that. And what I'm gonna do is gonna do this. So when the circle appear, I want this one to start. Something around here. When the circle finish, this one's gonna appear. Now what we're gonna do, we're going to bring the shape that we create there. I already animate this one so what I'm gonna do is gonna bring, make it a smaller and I'm going to find the spot right when the, the line finish I'm gonna place it right here I'm gonna move it forward something like that okay we have this Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to right click, copy, right click, paste here. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new track. Now this one is going to be here on top. I'm going to bring it down. And what I did, I pretty much duplicated. I'm going to move these two on top. And then on the first sh uh, shape. I'm gonna add a fill color and I'm gonna go 100 and I'm gonna select a different color <coughs> you're free to choose any color that you want now what I want is uh, the first one which is the white to go first so I'm going to move the second one something like that and as you can see we had the line it's showing on top so what we're gonna do we're gonna select these two and we're gonna move them on top and these two we're gonna bring it down okay Okay, now we're going to add a different color now. So what we're going to do, we're going to right click and now we're going to copy and right click paste here and then create a new one. We're going to bring it down, put it on top of this one. So we're going to change the color to something like this. Put it on top of this one. So the, the red color is gonna go on top and we and we're gonna end it out with this. Okay. so what we're gonna do is create new composite shot. Let's create a text. I'm gonna do mine really fast. 
so let's go back to the editor and the media and and we're going to bring our title right on top so I'm gonna make it smaller and gonna put it right on top of this now so what we're gonna do on the text let's go to the effect um, transitions okay we're gonna open this one and we're going to drag it right on top of the text and this is gonna do so I might you might want to move it a little forward right when it's done it's gonna appear okay now what we're gonna do we're gonna make this one smaller because we don't want it to last too long and what I'm going to do um, on the text, I'm going to come back to uh, effect and going to add this one on the other side. going to make this one smaller, something like that. So what I'm going to do is going to disappear slow. And then everything else is going to bring it down. gonna go effect and we're gonna add linear white to all the shape we're gonna increase the size so what this is gonna do is gonna go away like that I'm going to select this this three I'm gonna make things smaller the text I'm gonna make it smaller as well okay and we're gonna have this now we need to make this to uh, disappear as well and this could be uh, your choice I'm gonna use the same one for the line <coughs> So, and then this one is going to disappear like that. Can make them smaller. It's going to disappear like this. I'm going to remove the feather. It's going to disappear like that. I need to make the, the circle disappear. So, uh, I'm going to apply a different one. So I'm going to apply this one and then since it's the last one this one is going to disappear in the end I'm going to make it a smaller too something like this and we're going to have that so the circle is going to slowly disappear and in the end we're going to have this if you want this to happen uh, a lot faster you only have to do is make them smaller so um, there you have it guys, well thank you for watching and I will see you next time.